Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the 3D Boxing. We are back with the second uh, show today. We're going to break down the fighter of the half year. And obviously it's one. Man, this shouldn't be difficult. Uh, well, there are good options. There's one that stands alone as the other choice. That's Canelo Alvarez. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Uh, share on all forms of social media. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, to give you the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. Um, we did a show earlier today on Tank Davis, who we should fight next, and uh, why he, all of a sudden, the fighter like Tank Davis works for the promotional company uh, and not vice versa. Um, also, please like our brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. So help us get monetized as quickly as possible. It's a brand new channel. We'd really appreciate that. Um... All right, well, let's get into today's show. Uh, Canal Alvarez, fighter of the half year. We're going we're to spend this time talking about Canal. Um, Dan revealed the, 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 the topic on this um, pretty good. Uh, I think it's fairly obvious that Canelo, who's got two wins, one over Ivan Yildrum, third round knockout, destruction in Miami Gardens, Florida. Um, you know, more of a sparring session, an easy sparring session. Then he comes back. Two and a half months later, um, I guess about 10 weeks later, uh, and destroys Billy Joe Saunders in eight rounds, stops him. So he's 2 0, two stoppages. Uh, he's unified now three belts. You know, he had two and then he beat Billy Joe. Um, so this to me, that he's the fighter of the half year, is fairly obvious. If you think it should be someone else, please put it in the comments below. Uh, we'll, we'll debate it out. I, I can't think of any other name that's even reasonable. But let me know what y'all think. I could be wrong. You might have some. Um, but where does Canelo go from here is where I really want to spend um, the next few minutes. Um, Canelo Alvarez's name. Well, he he his uh, right now. So he came out and said, "Let's get the Caleb Plant fight done." I have a source. I'm fairly confident that says the fight is just about done. Almost done. It's almost a done deal. That's good news. That's good news. Um, should he win that fight, he's given the names Benavides and Charlo, etc. Um, so I, I, I would imagine that's not going to happen until 2022. Uh, I hear September 18th um, is a go, and I was hoping it was going to be at Arlington and Cal and ATT Stadium, Cowboy Stadium. I'm hearing Las Vegas. I don't know. Um, but, uh, when we know more for sure, we'll we'll certainly share that, but it'll be all over the place. Um, but he's thinking the right path, right? If he can become undisputed, um, then he can basically sit here at 68 and fight the best fighters. I, you know, I know his name was linked to Better Beaver. That, that's, I think that's a bridge too far. Better Beaver is just too big and strong for him. He's not old and washed up. I don't want to say Kovalev was washed up because he was not that far removed from a, one of the best wins of his career. But he's not old like Kovalev. Um, he's a physically strong, gifted fighter. So I don't think Better Beaver is what I fight for him because I don't think Canelo's a 75-pounder. Um. I think he's a 60 and a 60. But if he wants to stay at 60, I think he can He can become. Just pick off these names. Benavid. First off, he's got to beat Plant. Okay? I think if there's anyone who can beat Canelo, it's Plant. Not that I'm picking Plant to beat him, but he certainly could. Now, let's say he beats Plant. Let, let, let's go that route. And he stays there, and he, Charlo comes up to fight him. Um, David Morrell is an interesting name. Now, David Morrell... I'm not trying to be too much of a bandwagon guy. It's not ready for him just yet. But um, David Morrell is a name that could give him a lot of trouble. Um, I, I think Morrell is probably a year or two away. But let's just play that game. You know, let, let, Let's get Morrell five more wins over that time. 
He's 10 and 0. It's incredible. I mean, this guy is something else. Could that be the guy? I mean, he's got a lot. I mean, there's a lot of things that he does well. He's excellent from the long range. Can he keep Canelo off him? Can he keep Canelo at bay? Can he jab with Canelo? I think he can. I think he's he is faster than Canelo. He's got the power. His skills are are, 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 are tremendous. Um, it's going to be tough to beat David Morrell. Um, but I think that I, I don't think he's ripe just yet. Uh, I think if Canelo got him now, Canelo would be getting him at the right time. But Charlo and Benavides would 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 be the great names, right? Like you can sit there at one sixty eight, and you know the names are there, you know, and, and become the best super middleweight of all time. You know, Ward, Roy Jones, there's, there's good names, but who really has the resume of running the table at 68? Most people, you know, go up to 75 or come up from 60 and don't spend that much of their career at that division. At just 30 years old, Canelo could spend five or six more years there at peak form. Um, You know, he's already got a win over Jacobs at 60, right? Uh, he's got the one over Billy Joel. Uh, Billy Joel. Let's say he beats Plant. You know he he's already making he's already making his claim. You know I, I think Zach Parker will be able to come, but none of these guys are going to beat Canelo, right? Um, I'm trying to find the article. Plant. Spence is another name that was mentioned. That makes no sense to me because. Spence is in the super middleweight. Spence is a welterweight who will go up to 54. Um, I, I think that name is ridiculous for Spence. I think that's a terrible fight. So I, I'm not going to get into that. It wouldn't be at 68, I don't think. So I'm not going to get into that. But what I want what I want to see is Canelo stay at 68 and just run the table for five years. Just like what hot can sit at 60. Just run the table. You know, back in the 90s and early 2000s. Just beat everyone they put in front of you. Beat them twice. Um, and be the best super middleweight of all time, and let that be your legacy. And a 54 pound champ, and a 60 pound champ, and a 65 pound champ. But your legacy is at 68. You're the greatest 68 pound champion of all time. I think that's Canelo's legacy. That's what I would like to see him do. Let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Is there any other name that you can give me for the half fighter of the year or halfway through the year? Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, please share this uh, 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 on all forms of social media. Please uh, like. Uh, I mean, subscribe to our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, all things Texas boxing. Um, and uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery, so it's near and dear to our heart. We just want to get it monetized. Um, find me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, like I said. Uh, it is July, it's July 1st, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still at the Boxing Hall of Fame. We're halfway through 2021. Let's get Ivan Calderon in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.